Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Latara, aka T, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Quick Meals with Tea. Today, since it is cold outside and it's about to storm, I thought I might show y'all how to make some beef stew. Mmm, sounds good, doesn't it? All right, y'all, let's get on into it. Enjoy. <laughs> y'all first things first i'm gonna do this before i go to work and then i'm gonna let it slow cook all day so to begin i'm gonna i just have a handful of baby carrots normal sized carrots are fine but i'm just gonna give these a quick chop and as i say in every video make sure you watch those fingers and if you like them smaller feel free to make them as small or as big as you like but that's a nice size for me because they're gonna get small or soft anyway when they're being cooked. So, let's see. I think this is pretty good. Maybe a little over there. Maybe, this in there. Maybe make this one a little smaller. All right, cut that one too. And we're gonna add it to the crock pot. Next, we're going to cut two celery stalks. So you slice it down the middle and then just chop. Now this recipe that I am making will feed a family of four, which is perfect for my family because we're a family of four. All right, so let's add it. Let's do the other one. Cut off the ends because we don't need that. A little end there. Same step. Slice it down the middle and chop. Same thing. Add it. Next, potatoes. So I'm just gonna cut this in half. And then just chop. And feel free to use unskinned potatoes, but um, I asked my kids would they prefer skin or skinless, and they weren't skinless. So the majority had it but it's good either way. And I like my potatoes to be a little smaller than my carrot pieces. So I'm gonna make these a little smaller. Okay, now let's add it to the crock pot. I would chop up my vegetables, but since I have the frozen, I'm just gonna use some pepper stir fry, which is uh, red, green, yellow bell peppers with white onion. I'm gonna go ahead, you can use the whole bag or not. I'm gonna use half the bag. This makes life so much more easy, or easier, should I say, when it's already frozen and cut up for you. All right. All right, so I've washed my meat. I only use half of the packet because it's only four of us and I don't want an overload of meat. I'm borderline vegetarian. So I'm gonna have this half a pack of meat, dry it off. Always wash your meat. You don't know whose hand's been on it. All right, looks nice and pat it out. All right, now I'm gonna add it to the crock pot. And the last step is to add beef stew mix. Normally I'd make my own, but I'm pressed for time today. So I'm just gonna use one 
packet is a beef stew mix. Any brand is fine. I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over the food inside its crock pot. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. Make sure you get every single piece of meat and vegetable covered in this sauce. You should smell this. It smells so good and hasn't even started cooking yet. All right. Now, since I'm going to work, I'm going to be working all day. I'm going to put this on low heat so that it can cook slowly. Now, if I had the time, I would put it on high and cook it for four hours. But today I'm going to cook it on low for eight hours. So let me add some water. enough water to cover it but not drown it otherwise you'll dilute the flavor and I think one or two more might do all right so let's add a little more water So, I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to go to work. When I come home, my dinner's going to be ready. We'll see you in eight hours. All right, y'all, it's been about eight hours. I am home from work. So, I'm just going to check on my stew, and it's looking delicious. Now, let me go ahead and taste this really quick to make sure the flavor is right. Hmm. It needs a little bit of salt. Now, if one packet is good for you, that's cool. But for me, just a little bit of salt to add to this taste. All right. All right, y'all, I have plated it. I've made myself a side of cornbread. And just because you know that I like presentation, I'm gonna sprinkle some parsley on top just to make it look good. All right. For more videos like this, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, and notification bell. Buon appetit!